Welcome, Marcus. Nice to be here. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Remind me again, what, what, what exactly is it we're doing here? Uh, yeah, we're having a fireside chili chat today. A fireside chili chat. Okay, and, and, and why uh, exactly are we doing a fireside chili chat? Uh, well, I thought it would be a fun concept and a um, good idea to talk some market information together and uh, have some fun with some chili peppers as well. Okay, well, I, I distinctively remember saying that we would do anything <clears throat> to show our dedication in the relationship, but I wasn't kind of thinking about death chilies at the time. <laughs> well, uh, it's up for proof now. Let's do this. Show us how dedicated you are. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is a very, very, very bad idea. Could you tell me exactly how bad it is? Uh, yeah. Uh, we have uh, uh, the world's hottest chili peppers, the Cal Carolina Reaper. Uh, it's uh, measuring 2.2 million scovilles on the heat scale. Uh, it's uh, currently the hottest chili pepper in the world. Uh, can be compared to Yalapeno at 8,000 scovilles. So it's much hotter. Uh, so I've saved that for the finale. And wow, we thank also you very much. <laughs> okay. We also have the Butte Orange Copenhagen, <laughs> uh, supposedly one of the more fruity and tasty peppers in the community, uh, measuring up to 1 million scovilles. Uh, chocolate Scotch Bonnet, a brown chili pepper, uh, measuring around two to 300,000 scovilles. And uh, Fatali White, uh, similar heat level, uh, white and very fruity pepper. Uh, so I thought we should uh, do some uh, chili pepper tastings and uh, scale it up. Uh, start slow, uh, try to have a conversation around market automation yeah. and then finish up with uh, uh, the finale. Michael, this is probably the world's worst idea <laughs> ever. So it's, let's do that. All right. <clears throat> so we start with uh, we start with the uh, start with that one uh, yeah it's called the Fatali white uh, we're not having too much let's just uh, save it up for the finale but um, yeah let's um, <coughs> let's have a bite and um, talk about market automation yeah of course cheers cheers <laughs> yeah hmm not, not, not too bad. Um, so not too bad. <laughs> Don't start talk, talking too early. No. Uh, yeah, so. So. <laughs> okay. So this is the weakest of the four. This is the weakest. This is a very, 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 very bad idea. <coughs> uh, why don't you tell me <coughs> your thoughts about what makes a success around market automation? Yeah, yeah. We have we have a lot of thoughts about that, especially working with you guys. It was. Um, it was a, a really interesting and, and fun event when we um, when we were together in Vegas um, earlier this year, and you actually won the Marquee Awards, which is um, and the the reason I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, re, re, remind me, this is the weakest again. <laughs> this is okay. the weakest. Yeah, and uh, so the, the award you guys won was was the one, one was the one I think is perhaps the most interesting because it's the ROI the ROI reward where you're able to show how much you're actually gaining from the from the marketing automation I think that's the trick many times to be able to show inside your organization what you really deliver and find figure out how to measure it and I think if you're if you're um, if you're a travel agency or you're an e-retailer selling you know toilet paper or whatever that's really really simple and transactional yeah. That's easier uh, than compared to being Bonnier because you have a really complex environment, right? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really big environment. <laughs> um, but um, I think uh, what's been good for us and working for Moss has been uh, to really build uh, bottoms up a good team that uh, can make things happen and, and uh, uh, <coughs> work with data-driven improvements in a market automation tool. Uh, from everything from the start, where around segmentation strategies, trigger-based activities, all the way to uh, being able to work <coughs> with sales, doing sales improvements, making the analytics and driving return of investment improvements uh, through leads. So uh, yeah, really be building a team where you can work data-driven and do improvements 
through the whole funnel. Yep. Uh, so that's really fun for us and the team to work like that. And uh, also be working really well when you sort of build your team around the market automation tool like Eloqua. Mm. <clears throat> Next chili. Yes. <clears throat> and this is called uh, sh uh, chocolate scotch bonnet. And, and this is a bit smoky pepper, a uh, bit stronger. Well, cheers. <laughs> Oh, this is such a bad idea. Okay. Maybe, uh, w would you tell us about uh, what you think makes a, a difference in, uh, around market automation and what's important now? Uh, abs abs well, absolutely. And I think, I think first of all, the, the, um, the, the thing you did, if we, we stay on that for a second, uh, is, you managed to, is you managed to show really strong ROI in a complex environment. And I guess that <clears throat> the attribution models that you have to create internally to like figure out like what what did you actually contribute in a kind of complex value chain where there are multiple touch points with the with an ex <laughs> with an existing customer or or a new prospect and so on that has to be really really uh, really complex internally in, in Bonia to figure out like what value you drive but you managed you really you really managed and you beat really large companies in in um, international players in in uh, in the market awards there and you're going to talk about that in uh, in december right uh yes on the uh, modern marketing tour in stockholm the nordic tour the 10th of december yeah <clears throat> so really looking forward to that share some of our work around uh, our market automation team and um, yeah uh, also meet some of the other uh, speakers and uh, get inspired really around market automation trends Let's have the next one. One yes, minute goes. And how, how strong was the last one before? Uh, it was a similar heat level around 300,000 goes. So we went from 300,000 to 1 million. And it's time to mm, kick <clears throat> things up a bit. Cheers. It's not bad. No, it's a really tasty, crispy <laughs> pepper. <coughs> it's on the hotter side, but uh, yeah, it is. It's um, <coughs> one of the more popular peppers yeah. in the community. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, um, so, uh, so, yeah. <coughs> we asked before what we think about um, in marketing. Like we, we. Uh, <laughs> we s we sit around and think a lot about um, micro moments and, <laughs> and intense signals and things like that. And and I think <clears throat> if you really want to do that, if if the goal with your marketing is to kind of figure out who <clears throat> is to figure out and <clears throat> still a warm up. <laughs> There's a little bit of a build up, yeah. Uh, is to figure out uh, who someone is when they show up in front of you in that particular moment, if they're in a buying mode or if they're in a complaint mode or if they're in who they are, like a prospecting mode, to <coughs> use as much data as possible to figure out very, very, oh my fucking God, <laughs> how, uh, who, uh, how, to, how, to, how to provide value without, without, um, Without nagging them and uh, being in their being in their way, <coughs> and uh, so that, yeah, that's what we think. About. <coughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, what do you think, Peter? Yeah, I think it's. Uh, um, I think if we if we're having the mm. the last one, we're having it now. Okay. <sighs> yeah, let's uh, rock paper scissors <coughs> takes the big one. <laughs> Congress, Marcus. So we're saying that the, the last one here is strong. Yeah, this is the, the hottest chili pepper in the world. Yeah, of course. Um, of course it is. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> 
So why not try that and uh, <laughs> talk a little bit about marketing? It sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Let's just do it. <sighs> Cheers to a dedicated partner. <laughs> Cheers to a good friend and a, and a great customer. Okay, important to shoot this up well. Mm. Mm. Very tasty for okay. slow, slow build up. Taste a bit like perfume. Very. Very fruity, mm -hmm. flowery, so a bit floral. <clears throat> yeah, very interesting. So, so um, what are the challenges that, or so, um, what are some cool things that you're working on in in um, in Bonia right now? Any, any? Yeah, it's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one of more <laughs> our more interesting projects right now is to really capitalize on all the data, qualify interest yeah. that can be used across the whole organization. We have such a good big organization here, big database, different brands. We have 40 different brands in our local platform. Wow, that has to be a super complex setup. We have like a business to business environment where you can do a lot of interesting uses around the data. So really... Yeah. <clears throat> starting working more and develop our, our processes around qualifying interest from the customers. Yeah. Asking the customers <coughs> what they would like. Uh, asking the customers the right type <clears throat> of questions and qualifying the right ki kinds of interests so we can capitalize on interests and um, personalized messages. How are you doing? Yeah, it's very interesting <laughs> to hear about your marketing account. Um, and I look forward to... Uh, being a part of that, <laughs> supporting from from Oracle as uh, as well as we can, <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, you're holding up quite, quite well. I'm quite impressed. Thank you, and uh, yeah, so let's never do this again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just or you know what, <clears throat> same time next year. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I'm up for it. Good. It's really good having you. Bring it in, big boy. <laughs> 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 And now yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> wow. Oh, the beam is. That's the, the big. Ah, it's a very, 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 very